So wrinkles and how to make them. If we take a look at this, then this could be an arm from a character where it is uh, bending its arm. So we want the uh, the crevice to have some some wrinkles in it. So if we uh, straighten this out, then we can see that the all the wrinkles disappear. And if we move it up again, then they reappear. This also has a shape key that will deform the mesh a little bit so that it has this bump. Like when you bend your arm, your muscles contract and your, your physics change, I mean. So we want to make this again, see how we do it. So let's uh, start up a new project here. And we will enable screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. And it works. So first of all, let's delete everything from the scene. Then we put in a cylinder and we want it to only have 16 vertices. That's more than enough. We rotate it and then we scale it so that it's a little bigger. We want it to be shade smooth. We want to add a subsurf here, uh, subdivision. And then we want to add, let's say, five loop cuts. And we'll, I don't want those. There we go. I want one in the end here and one in the end here. There we go. So now we have a, well, a cylinder. So next we want to add in a, an armature here. And we want to edit this and this we want to put in is it minus five? Yeah. And the X down here. So yeah, Z, there we go. And then extrude this. I want to put that at five. Oh, maybe not. Let's see what, and then five down here. There we go. Then we want to take this, this and parent it. Automatic weights. There we go. So if we go into pose mode, then we can see that it's bending. And to make this a little easier for ourselves, we will put this into XYZ, lock everything except the X so that we can do this. And then we want to make a constraint on the rotation limit. Rotation, there we go. Limit X from 0 to 90 for transform and in local space. There we go. Now it's a lot easier. We can only transform it on the X axis and we can only do it with 90. So let's do like that. Then let's see if we can get this lock thing to work. There we go. So here we want the armature to be on top. There we go. Cleans it up a little bit. We want to preserve the volume. Makes it even better. And then we want to add these so that when we edit the mesh, then it stays as it is. If we don't do this, then it'll, it won't follow the armature. And here we won't be able to see the what's happening. So we want to check these. There we go. So now we want to add this little bump just to make it proper. So we want to add two shape keys and we want to call this bend or something. doesn't really matter. And see if we take this and that don't need this let me just lift it up a little bit we want to put proportional editing on as well over here there we go and a little bit here there we go and what what there we go that looks a little better also what we want to do is take this move it up a little bit take these move them back maybe take both of these Something like that. That's fine. So now we can see that this has an effect. So what we want to do is add a driver for this because right now, if we move this down, then we still have this bump that we made. So we want to move it up again. Then right click here, add a driver. The target is going to be our armature. And we want the bone 001. That's this one, the last one we made. So we want it to be the X rotation. That is the control. And we want it in local space. Oh, this looks fine. 90 degrees. 
So now we want to have the bar times 0.64 or something. Yeah, that's that's fine. So now if we straighten it out, it's zero. If we give it a rotation of 45, then it's about half. And fully uh, bent, then it's one. So there we go. We're going to reuse this driver for the uh, for the wrinkles. So let's see what this looks like right now. It looks kind of like nothing. So let's quickly add in some lighting here. Environment texture. Put this into this, then open, and then go to our HDRIs here. And the courtyard, here we go. Oh. So now I have a little bit of light. And then we want to go to the object here. Uh, we want to create a material for it. We want to just make it black. Oh, there we go. This is fine. Pull down the roughness a bit so that it's a bit more reflective. There we go. Okay, so now we want to put in a bump node. Oh, and we want to put in a displacement node. The bump node goes into the normal. The displacement goes into the displacement. There we go. Uh, there we go. And we want a math node. Put into the height. There we go. And then we want a image texture. And here we want to open the wrinkles texture here. And we want to put it in non-color and clip and then put in like that. There we go. So now it's all over the place. It looks horrible. Also, the strength is way too high. Let's just put it at point 0.1 for now. Ugh. There we go. Looks horrible. Great. So what we want to do is we want to create a second UV map that handles the wrinkles. And the original UV map, that is just going to handle whatever texture it has already. Here we can see that it's already unwrapped. And we already have the brush wrinkles, the brush fabric wrinkle thing. That's nice. So what we want to do is add a new one here. We can call it wrinkles. And oh, go into island select mode. Deselect everything. Oh, we want to select everything here. Then we're going to move this out of the way. We want to have this selected as well. And then we see if we can Oh, see, there we go. Select where we want the wrinkles to actually appear. We don't want those. We want something like this. And we want to have it to overflow a little bit because if we don't do that, then the wrinkles are just suddenly going to stop and you're going to be able to see that uh, the, the map doesn't uh, cover it uh, properly. So let's unwrap this. And we will just... Oh, let's turn off this. Proportional editing, SX2. Whoop, there we go. So let's see what we can do here. We want to split this. And then we want to go to the shader again. And in here, we want to add a UV map node. We'll put that in there. Right now, when we look at it, then it looks like this. Because it's using the original UV map, where it's just kind of all over the place. But if we select the wrinkles then it's only appearing where we actually just unwrap this. So what we want to do is we want to move this around so that we can place the wrinkles where we want. Right now it's a bit too big, so we will... It's a bit too small. The wrinkles are too big. The UV uh, unwrap is too small. <laughs> so we want to enlarge this a little bit, move it so that... I'll rotate it so that the wrinkles have the right orientation. And something like this. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine for now. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. So this is what it's gonna look like. Or this is where the wrinkles are gonna appear. So if you look at this, then we have the wrinkles. And they're pretty uh pretty crazy right now. Let's see, I don't think I shade smoothed it. No, I did. It's just being weird with all these 
artifacts. Anyway, that's probably Eevee. Oh, here it looks fine. It cycles. But let's go back to Eevee for now so that my computer won't make so much noise. So this value, we're going to control that again by the rotation. Because if we take this down here, then all the wrinkles are still there. We don't want that. We only want them when we actually bend. Um, mm -hmm. Then we want to go to the... Where was it? It's here. Shape key. Right click this. Copy driver. And then in here we can just paste the driver. Right now it's way too big. Uh, way too high. The, the value is way too high. So we want to maybe point 064. There we go. So when we bend this down, what? then this is zero. And it's not really updating. It's... Uh, Oh, it's because it's still an add. We need to put this as a multiply. There we go. That's maybe why it was so crazy. See, now it looks fine. Hey. And we bend it. And then it's a point 0.1. And we can't see it right now because, yeah, EV, I guess. Let's go to cycles. There we go. Now we can see it. And it seems that we want to push it a little further. So if we take this and just give it a 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 15 maybe. There we go. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah. Now you can see all these edges here. That's because the UV map or the, the texture here is sort of, it's not great. It has this edge. It's a free texture, so can't expect too much but yeah that uh, screws it up a bit if you get a proper texture then this shouldn't happen scale this down actually and it might help and now my computer is going crazy because it's running cycles so you now actually remove all of this but still we have these ugly edges here it's not good but anyway, if we look at this, we can see what's actually happening. This is where our map is going to be. Ah, it didn't remove the edges. It just made it worse, actually. So let's just resize this again. Whoa, there we go. Oh, it's so not pretty. But anyway, that's how you make wrinkles. Just find proper map for it. Because this is not really working too well. You'll see here that it's actually just cutting off the color here so it's not fading into into black. Then this would this line wouldn't be there if it just faded properly. This isn't made that way. It just sort of stops and then boom, you have this itch. It's not good. So So all of these textures for the um for the wrinkles, you can get them off of Polygon. That's where I get mine anyway. I will leave a link in the description to where you can get them. They're not free, so you have to pay for them, but they're really good.